Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions. And in today's Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the isolate and hide commands to save you a ton of time while you're drafting, as well as keep things a little cleaner uh, when you're trying to label or draw line work. It's gonna be a quick one, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. Let's get started. Two minutes on the clock, and here we go. So you can see here, I've got a floor plan drawing, and I'm gonna use the isolate and hide commands to clean up the area that we're working on. You could use this to simply select a certain type of line or uh, to get rid of some line work so that you can draw in an area that's a little cluttered. Uh, in this first example here, we're going to isolate uh, a selection of objects. So to make our selection, I'm gonna select the walls here, and I'm gonna right click and say select similar. And you can see by the blue that it's highlighted all of the wall line work uh, based on my select similar options, which is using color and layer, I think right now. Next, we're gonna isolate these objects and that's gonna hide everything except for our selected objects. To do that, we're gonna right click Go to isolate and we're going to click isolate objects you can see that now the only visible objects are the selected wall lines you can use uh, the isolate objects for uh, any kind of object and it's not going to delete them it's simply going to hide them for the time being so you can draw in some lines or whatever you need to do Maybe you're adding a wall, maybe you're adding some text or labels. When you're done, simply right click, go to isolate and end your object isolation. This is gonna bring back everything just like it was before. And this saves you time of uh, turning on and off layers, uh, deleting objects, any of that kind of stuff. It allows you to quickly isolate what you're working on and then bring it back when you're done. I'm gonna show you one more quick example. We're gonna go through the same thing, but with the hide command. This one will just get rid of what you've selected. So it's the opposite. In this case, we're gonna select all of the text. So we're gonna select one and say select similar. You can see that all of the text has been selected here. We're gonna right click, go to isolate, and select hide objects. That's gonna get rid of all the text. So if you've got a really busy labeled drawing or a lot of notes, and you just wanna get rid of those to do some more drawing, uh, maybe you need to delete some line work, once you've done all that, uh, in this case, this isn't a really complicated drawing, but in the case where you had too many labels to find what you were doing, or you just wanted to clean it up, that's where the hide command comes in handy. You could also do a quick plot, and this stuff would remain hidden. Uh, when you're finished, simply go to right click, go to isolate, and end object isolation to bring back your text. So there you go. I think I even did it in two minutes today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and let me know what you guys think, and have a good one. Cheers! Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here, uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here. Make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers!